Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Prison Architect. My name is Weasel, and in this episode, we're taking in 101 prisoners. Not Dalmatians, no prisoners. Um, first, I should probably build the remaining cell doors that I forgot to put down. There you go. I hope my workmen are gonna finish this one off. That would be great if you could do that. Thank you in advance. And we're also gonna put down some metal floors, just to, you know, have have a consistent look throughout this prison very well. And I should also make sure to deploy some guards, but yeah. Big intake happening in 30 minutes, 101 prisoner. Definitely the biggest one to date uh, under deployment. I'm just gonna set a cons uh, constant of four guards here, and um, I say two armed guards just roaming the vicinity. Just, you know, why not? Not only on the schedule, all the time. I want them here all the time. Come on, you roam this. Uh, and also hire a few in, in 10 minutes. I'm gonna pause the game for a second. Ah, oh, look how smooth it goes if it's paused. Um, yeah, these guys are angry, whatever. We need more lockers to hire more, well, guards. Meaning, we increase the armory size or the morgue. I think increasing the armory size makes a little bit more sense. So here's what we'll do. We'll... I think this is the right way, yeah. This would remove the wall, this would keep it. Yes, exactly. And that's gonna give us a nice big armory. Uh, gonna give us nice new spots because I'm gonna build something pretty, well, I don't know, weird. Uh, it's gonna be for Supermax. Supermax here is kinda cool. Um, but it's not, it's not extreme enough. It's not extreme enough for me. All right, let's see. Let's let's enjoy for a moment before we do anything else the fact that we're getting a hundred prisoners incoming. Um, I'm gonna turn this off to closed or just minimum ratio, and only intake one per day. And man, we're gonna need we're gonna need more more cooks. I mean, thirty cooks is nice. We have four. I think we should have one cook per field, which makes this 816, uh, roughly 32 and a few more, so I'll just hire like, I don't know, 40 cooks. Uh, two more armed guards because we lost some in the process, and I think I'm gonna get, yeah, 80 guards is fine. It's gonna be just, just, just dandy. Then again, we're gonna need a few to process these, so I'm gonna ramp up my guard count to the 100. 100 guards! Yay! Alright, these guards are gonna be just, uh, gonna be perfectly capable of carrying those into the reception where they're gonna be processed. Things are gonna be great. A lot of tasering happening while they do... I, I, I just gotta see this. I just gotta see this complete chaos. Um, I'm gonna deploy two guards here. Two... well, one guard in the reception, that's fine. Mm. On patrols, yeah, that's gonna happen soon as well. Okay, still waiting for my workman to finish this up. That's gonna take a bit. Ugh, saving. All right, we're at 370 prisoners. Things are going great. Yeah, a lot of trucks, a lot of prisoner trucks. He's great, he's great. All right. Tim, Tim, wait. Oh, right. Wait, didn't I? Wait a second. Didn't I kill Tim? Says 8%. Is that because he's in a morgue or... I thought I killed him. It says I have two death row inmates. Here it says I have three. I think the status should say dad. Tim is pretty dad. I, I kind of pulled the switch. Okay, those are a lot of prisoners. Many, many of them prisoners. We should do a shakedown just for funsies too. Because I can't wait to have a riot. <laughs> One could think that. You know, the way I'm, I'm doing this. Anyway, I was talking about the crazy plan that I have. My crazy plan involves to get this actually up to 500 with the space that I have. Um, by the way, deployment guards currently non-deployed. Oh, they're just deployed this time. Kind of want to deploy it at any time. Showing deployment now, whatever, here. Let's, do, let's put four guards in here. Ah, they're only active for this time. All right, gonna have to do this manually then. Four, you stay here. Uh, two is eating time. I guess three will do. That's shower time. Two will do. Um, definitely want a few more during shower time in here. Uh, that changed the deployment, didn't it? 
Yeah, it did. Might not be enough shower spots for everyone. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna have to keep this locked open so they can roam around freely. And of course, they're gonna require the deployment of the individual guards. Ugh. Worst, I tell you, worst. Yeah, I should should have put servers here, but right now I don't want to deal with that. Uh, I'm gonna do that eventually. For now, what else? What else? There's more important things to do. Oh man, yeah, weird capacity this is great. I'm also very sure that we can't feed them all, or that our laundry is just completely overworked. There's no way they could make all the clothing for them. Well, this laundry room is bigger. Hmm. Reminds me, did I? Yeah, it's. Jobs are set to a maximum, so maybe we actually can deal with all the required prisoner uniforms. Nice. Since I always lose my focus here. So we're gonna have an entrance on the side. That reminds me that I probably want metal detectors in here somewhere. To catch anyone and do a shakedown soon, but for now this is gonna be our hallway. Actually, I can do this as a hallway. And then we're gonna have a lot of small cells. And my small cell, I mean really small. A one by one cell. I wanna try this. I wanna see if this works. It should. Uh, so we should be able to put a lot of prisoners in here. Yeah, they're not even they're not even gonna get a toilet. That's how much fun I am. Ah, you know what? I think a cell needs a toilet, right? Uh, a cell needs a toilet in the bed. How am I gonna do this? Shouldn't I be able to... Oh! Legal prep, what is that? Every prison runs into problems every now and then and some come with a fairly big legal consequences. Your lawyer will start the paperwork. Okay, that's good. And what is legal defense? Something went horribly wrong. Are you going to... Okay, a lawyer can help me. That's good. That's that's very good. Um, certain amount of space. Remove the minimum size requirements for standard cells. Here's the thing, I was hoping that I can go... Hmm. Yeah, the cell's still gonna require a bed and a toilet, so... Guess we're gonna have to make this even a little bit bigger than I would have liked to see it. Bed and toilet. Again, couldn't I just force this to be a cell? That's not gonna recognize it as a cell, is it now? Alright, so here you go. Saving even more space by just putting that down, all right. And I want to make sure that I have plenty of space. Oh, come on. Playing this out is really tricky. Here you go. So that's the size. Let's plan it out with objects. Two beds or a toilet and a bed. And at front we have the door. So four cells is pretty much the biggest that I can do. I could put them all into just free and solitary, and solitary cells can be a one by one. But I don't think there's a way to automatically set that everyone goes into solitary. I mean, that would be great. But, yeah, under policy, yeah, I don't see a way to do this destruction. Ooh! I just realized that his cell should, if we find weapons, tools, and drugs, we should search his cell as well. Absolutely, and search him. I just realized that this has not happened. That should absolutely happen. Alright. Good, so... Uh, I might be able to squeeze a lot of cells into this. Uh, since it now requires only this amount of space. It's, it's one c cell less. But I'm trying to be as, well, effective with my space as I can. And we're gonna have another hallway walking on the outside, so they can walk in circles. And, yeah, let's see how many we can fit in here. Haha, -ha, this worked out better than expected. Uh, we're gonna be able to fit so many cells in here. We're gonna have a blast. And we're not gonna have to... I guess I can remove this, why not? Uh, are we having a riot? Well, it seems like it. Good call, though. Oh my god. Yep. That's a fight. Uh, we have a lot of people that we need to put into Supermax. 
And this whole thing is going to be super max. Um, or, eh, I guess permanent lockdown will do too. But, yeah, having this super max and then designating this to regular cells. Why not? Man, how many cells we can put in this instead of having these giant cells. If we set this super max and just put armed guards in there and they riot, they're just going to be shot. Alright, well, we're still going to fit them in there, so that's good. Okay, we de dealt with these guys accordingly to that, buddies. It's okay, too. Oh, man. Alright, we're good. So these guys are working on this while we are waiting for... Why is this not being built? It's it's queued up to build a jail door cell. It's not happening. What if I place it over here? You don't seem to be happy with this position. Maybe that's going to do the trick. Who knows? I uh, love to see that. We're at a 20,000 uh, uh, cash flow. That makes me happy to see. Meaning we have plenty, plenty of money to buy ourselves, get ourselves new guards. They should have built this room by now if I'm... They still haven't built this. Why? Something must be wrong here. Must have done something wrong if they are not going to build a foundation here. Fine, just do that. It's going to be quite all right. I hope my worker are getting on this. This is nearly done, so we can start planning out the different walls. Oh yeah, right, a door. You're probably going to want a door. Oops, here you have your door. Maybe even one on the other side. Nah, one door is fine. It's going to be stuck in there for life anyway. So, what do we worry? You know what we're going to try, actually, before we go ahead and, you know, build the giant cells? I think it should be possible to even put them in a cell without anything of that. Alright, you know what? 